Well, there are a lot of opportunities for Huawei Enterprise, and let me just start with a few of those. Well, the most important one is the whole IT industry is in uh, a stage of uh, transition. We all know about the big data and cloud computing and the BYOD, um, but not till recently we suddenly see a huge movement to these areas, and uh, that's uh, that opportunity presented a lot of openings for Huawei to enter the market space. There are, of course, traditional opportunities. The IT industry uh, in the past have been dominated by a few players for a long time. So a lot of the uh, IT professionals are really looking for newcomers who has uh, broad product line, but also can bring better performance and a better value. So I would uh, say that's the second opportunity for Huawei Enterprise. As you know, Huawei has been a networking company for a long time. Uh, networking is uh, where Huawei started its business from. And uh, uh, also, Huawei has been a fairly dominant player in the wireless world. Uh, and uh, you might have heard Huawei's belief in the convergence of uh, um, IT, uh, and the communication technology. And communication technology uh, means networking. And the SDN uh, is something Huawei can bring a lot of the technology component together uh, to provide a value. And also with SDN, then there is uh, a transition between the new paradigm and the new, uh, old paradigm and new, and uh, uh, Huawei has been really thinking about the, how we can uh, make that very meaningful trans uh, transition for the whole industry. Today, uh, even though we've been talking about SDN for a long time, in terms of real market transition, we are still at the early stage. Uh, there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one of the most significant reasons is uh, in the past, a lot of the folks uh, in the SDN community uh, were folks uh, have a lot of uh, installed base. Uh, so it's very difficult uh, to to figure out a strategy to protect the, uh, their margin uh, while helping uh, the whole community transition to this complete new paradigm. We believe it's a fundamental change and uh, we don't believe it's the same old game. Uh, and we believe, you're right, the key word is being open. And the, the key word, uh, perhaps, is how do you be truly open? Uh, and we are. Um, you have seen a lot of uh, different standards group uh, working on SDN uh, strategies or approaches. Uh, we are very uh, tuned in in all of them. But meanwhile, uh, we step back and look at the why SDN? What are the fundamental reasons uh, for us to get to where we are today? So the truth is SDN is not about the vendors. Uh, SDN is about the customers. And uh, while we take approach, while we actively participating in these standard bodies, uh, we really look at what are the value of SDN uh, to the customers. And if you look at from that angle, this is truly exciting and revolutionary. Give you a few examples. Uh, if you look at uh, a lot of the uh, open uh, platform that's being developed, uh, such as BYOD, uh, such as OpenStack. Um, without the SDN, 
then a lot of these things cannot be tied together. So in a way, SDN is a critical component to all the openness we, uh, we are seeing in the IT community and to tie them all together. So with SDN, then we will see uh, the BYOD platform will be truly powerful because you have the same, uh, not only networking experience, but also security experience uh, everywhere you go. And also with our wireless technology, then you have the same speed and feeds. So this is just a simple example why SDN is important. Would the success in SDN uh, really relies on uh, how closely we work with our customers in what we believe in. And uh, so far, uh, we've been right on track. Uh, take uh, Agile Network Platform, for example. Uh, we wrote that out a couple of quarters ago, and uh, so far, uh, it has been very well received. So uh, Huawei uh, is looking at SDN from end-to-end -end point of view, which is also unique. We've already got the, the carriers of the world really excited about our SDN strategy there. So um, what we've developed, uh, uh, the cloud controller, uh, has been rolled out and energized the carrier world. Interestingly, that same approach uh, can be uh, brought to the enterprise world. Then in addition to that, we've rolled out uh, our 12,700 series, which is uh, uh, the campus SDN approach we are using. Uh, uh, throughout the next few quarters, you will see Huawei consistently consistently rolling out these different elements of our SDN strategy. And uh, uh, as long as we can keep getting the customers excited about those, so far we are on track, uh, then we'll be really successful because you don't see many other vendors out there uh, having all these technology uh, elements and yet uh, being very willing to be so open, uh, to be uh, so receptive for the evolution to the cloud and big data and the BYOD. And that's really what SDN is all about. Huawei believes in an evolutionary approach, not a revolutionary approach. We think SDN is gonna be a hybrid SDN in the, in the early stages. Enterprises are gonna run both the traditional networks coupled with the SDN-based network. If you look at the Huawei's SDN architecture, there are basically three layers. We have networking devices, we have control layer, and we have management and collaboration. So with the Huawei SDN approach and with a lot of what's going on in the industry, we do, don't think uh, uh, hardware is gonna go away anytime, anywhere else. So we do believe in, the, in some of the custom and the merchant silicon-based hardware available in the market. If you look at our agile network approach, we think enterprises need a new set of features, whether it means converged wired and wireless, whether it means a centralized controller, whether it means a centralized management. So it will be the hardware with the requirements and modified for the STN approach. That's gonna be the case for Huawei and for the industry as well in the future. So overlay is the easiest approach. If you look at the network overlay, that's the first approach to the SGN architecture. Network virtualization is the first offshoot of the network overlay. We think that's the first easiest implementable use cases coming for the SGN. But a lot of enterprise use cases are still being defined. And some of those use cases might include, for example, security, load balancing, network visualization, really, having an end-to-end -end visual approach for packet uh, filtering point of view as well. So all those use cases are still kind of being finalized. The business cases are still being created, but we believe network virtualization, the overlay is the easiest to implement when it comes to SDN today.
The driving forces for SDN are actually customer centric. What SDN really brings to the market is really being able to deploy new services much faster. It brings to the market that agile network that the industry has been asking for a long time. It used to take 18 to 24 months to deploy any new services. With the SDN gives the flexibility being control plane separated from the forwarding plane to really customize the network and really deploy those services uh, that the network really needs. Uh, does it mean cloud-based approach? Absolutely, it's part of it. As I said, it's going to be a hybrid approach going forward. So it's going to be on-premise versus with the cloud-based approach. So from a security becomes much more paramount importance because your single controller is now actually controlling your entire network. You really want to make sure from an STN controller point of view, all the updates that are coming to the STN controller are really coming from what they say they're coming from. For example, things like firewalling, anti-DDoSing, anti-wirusing. We are combining some of these technologies into the single box over time. Again, it's in a very, very early stage. Uh, it's not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to take a couple of years. But nobody is still talking about the security on the SGN controller. We think it's a big major market, especially uh, while it's pushed into the SDN. This flexibility, this agility that we bring into the network. If my customer wants to deploy a new services and I can do it in six weeks or two weeks, that's a major win going forward. Networks have been so long proprietary. Really, nobody has really attempted to really separate some of this the, from a technical point of view, the control plane and the forwarding plane. So given that flexibility is really exciting, I can write new application. I have APIs. I have Huawei has got a number of partners looking at those open APIs, whether it's a RESTful API or SOAP or Java. Giving these interfaces to our third party and our customers really is a major win for the networking. Networking has never been as exciting before. I think we are in a turning point. It's an inflection point. And over the 10 years, 5 to 10 years, it's going to completely change the world.